What's your favorite part about the car? I think the favorite part is um, how you the radio's like facing my way, and so the passenger can't mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, the the power of the car is like good. You know, I like it. It's a P16, but you know, still. Mm -hmm. I mean, the car doesn't weigh that much, you know. So for the power of this thing, it's pretty well. Alrighty, everyone welcome back to automotive anatomy today we have tony tony thank you so much for making some time for us man no i appreciate you so much um so tell us man what do you drive i drive a 91 honda crx okay um you can see um i kind of keep it simple you know plain and simple um not too much but i like it and it you know favorite car that i've had from high school i'd say i've had like a 89 88 and then um, end up with the 91. Okay. Just kept the 91. Right. Yeah. And how long have you had it for? I've had it for around 10 years now. 10 years, wow. Yeah, 10 years, going 10 years with it and never get bored of it, man. I'm glad, I'm glad. Why this Chassis specifically? Um, because I think the 91 from like the 88, 89 is, um, it's a newer model, right? And um, the ones that I had was not like SI. So I really wanted to upgrade like to an SI, some roof, you know, like, and um, so I, that's why I kind of came up with, you know, found this one and then bought it. And since then I've just did so many changes on it. What got you into cars, man? Um, it's a funny story, man. Like um, growing up uh, with one of my cousins and he owned a CRX, um, going to like, you know, the street races and stuff. Um, like, I was kind of like growing up like, oh, Mustang guy, you know? It's like, oh, I'm gonna get a Mustang, this and that. And then it's, um, it just changed everything, man. When I started seeing these little Hondas beating Mustangs and like, you know, it's like, what the hell's going on? Like, my cousin had some CRX, he let me borrow it here and there. And I just fell in love with that car. And like, and I just said, like, I'm gonna get myself one of those. All right, Tony, so tell us about the front of the car. What do you have going on? So the front of the car, I have the JDM um, SIR, um, the headlights uh, change. Then the USDM are a little shorter. So I have all the clear corner lights, have the the, the, the bumper lights uh, wrap around. Other than okay. like the USDM are just like little, the you know, square. It cuts off around here, right? Correct, yes. Okay. And then I have the fog lights, the optional um, mm -hmm. accessory that, you know, they provided for the CRX. Um, added those. And um, yeah, this is what I have right here. And then I have the, um, the, uh, Jay's racing a uh, lip. Okay. It's actually from Password JDM. Okay. So they actually made this lip, um, and it, I just put it on. It fit well and it looked nice. So, <laughs> so I just. Yeah, it's just very flush. Like it definitely belongs there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, what is this little molding? Oh, those are. Um, I bought those in uh, some Japanese store. Mm -hmm. They sell like uh, accessories. Like, okay. You know, it's it's not a Honda accessory, but it is a. Uh, like a Japanese accessory. Okay. So it's like a bumper protector. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like I just put them on the bumper and just make it look a little, you know, safer so it doesn't, you know, hit something or something. Scratch something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah. Okay. And then what kind of hood is this? This one is the VIS, V-I-S. Okay. The, VIS. Uh, the carbon fiber hood. The fitment seems okay. Fitment's, uh, there. it's all right. It's all right, you know. Sometimes you got a little tweak here and there, but it, it kind of looks pretty good. Fitment's really good. Now, when you did the front end uh, conversion, did you have to change the radiator support? Um, I on this one I did. Okay. I did change it okay. um, because um, I just I just a lot of people's bumpers. If you if they don't change it, I feel like the bumper sags down. So with that, I had to do it, and, and it just came out really well. Yeah. When I changed the front end, I I sprayed it, um, and do you mind sharing the color of the, the name of the color? It's a black gloss, I believe. Black gloss. Okay. Yeah, it's like a. I can't. I don't remember the the exact code of it, but it's it's like a black gloss. Okay. I mean, it's been a while now, so the paint kind of looks alright, you know. Ah, oh, so it looks very good. It looks very yeah. good. I mean, um, 
Sweet, man. So tell us, uh, wheel and tire setup, what do you have going on? Wheel and tire setup. So tires are uh, 205, 55s, um, 15s. Mm -hmm. um, the offset is, I believe is 36. Mm -hmm. I have the Yokohama S drives. Um, really nice tires for like, uh, you know. Spiritual driving? Yeah, they, they're pretty good. Okay. Now, what kind of Mugen wheels did you say? These are the C48s. The C48s. C48 uh, Mugens. And with the cover, that is very hard to find, you were telling me. With the covers, yes. Cover center caps are kind of hard to find, too. What kind of suspension do you have? I have a 10 Super Street suspension. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, I have a SPC a upper control arm uh, bushings. Is that, yeah. And then I have the L, um, SPC uh, lower control arms, um, like sway bar. I got the Cusco sway bar front mm -hmm. and back. So it's a, it's all right. Like, you know, for not tracking it, but you know, drive around, it's, drive around. it's, it's nice and grabs and you feel the corners nice and tight, you know? Cool. Uh, these visors are actually optional, original Honda for the CRX. Mm -hmm. So as you see the logo Honda there. They're um, in very good condition, man. Yeah, I try to keep them really clean. Um, these things are ridiculous in, in price right now. <laughs> guys want... Like anything. We, we, yeah, we've anything, been talking yeah, about yeah, like anything, anything, everybody anything. has gone. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but like yeah. you mentioned, it keeps the, I guess, the ownership of it, the value, um, you know, at a higher... Uh, state that you yeah. value it correct at least you hope yeah. that the people that actually are purchasing this are going to value it. exactly yes uh, i saw that you did a uh, wiper delete it looks super clean yeah um tell us about the, the the sunroof oh so the sunroof um i purchased this from uh steve from hmo mm -hmm. a while back it's probably uh i want to say like four years ago okay um and my buddy uh jesse helped me out um to install the glass top and and you know ever since i've seen a crx with the glass top in there it was pretty much his crx the black one the mugen one that he has i just love the glass so i'm like oh my gosh like i need to have that like you know i have to have that in this car and i had to, i had to make you know made it happen <laughs> <laughs> hit him up hit jesse up told him hey you know i'm i'm really interested in doing this so can you help me out you know he said like really cool guy he's like yeah man like bring you know buy the glass top bring it over and we'll install it and wow and from there, you know, we went from there and installed it. And any major cutting modification needed? Uh, that you no know? cutting to the frame or anything. It's usually uh, spot welds on on uh, these. Okay. So you take these little rubber things off, mm -hmm. and then all the spot welds are there. So you he you drill them out, you know, you and then you take out the old some roof. Then you this one is pretty much like a sheet. You just put it in there, slides in there, like you know, and then and then you weld it back in there. Oh wow, that's yeah. I have some type of skill. Yeah, yeah, he has really good skills on <laughs> welding and stuff. So it looks really clean. I used to daily drive these cars, so not anymore. I used to daily drive it. It was my daily driver um, for a long time since I got it because I picked up this car off uh, some some guy, like some old guy. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's funny the story because I used to have a white one before I had this one, right? I was '88. Um, unfortunately, somebody like on the freeway, you know, smashed behind me, oh, wow. and um, and it's funny because I lived in front of a bank. And this guy, old guy, would go to the bank every day, and he would see the white car parked in the driveway, the CRX. Mm -hmm. And um, and one day he like you know I didn't have it anymore, and he comes to the door and knocks and say, "Hey man, what's who's no the way. owner of the CRX?" So I'm like, "Oh, I am." He's like, he's like, "Hey man, I have a black CRX like there, you know, like I don't, I don't, I don't use it. I don't." And You're kidding me. He's like, "Do you want to buy it off me?" I'm like. What? Like I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Like I just poured some cereal. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? Like I'm just, I'm just gonna enjoy my cinnamon, you know? Yeah, dude. <laughs> the only reason I'm about to start. What are you well, hold on, what are you saying? I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? So you go check it out. So I tell him, Yeah man, let you know, let me get ready, I'll go check it out. Um go check it out. Um he had it parked uh, under a tree, like in his house. Um he said he would um he'd turn it on, you know, kind of back it up and keep it in the driveway and then park it back. Um, he just, he lived at, the, his house was like, like in a really bad area, you know? So like there was like apartments and you know, you know how it goes with apartments and stuff. Right. And uh, he, he kept saying like, um, oh, like, you know, I have like cars that stop and like, you know, and I feel like it's gonna get stolen. And he's like, and I really don't want that <laughs> to happen. So I'd rather sell it to you 
you know, yes. knowing that, you know, Wicked. you know, that it's going to go to home, a good mm -hmm. place and not get stolen, you know? And so I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I'll buy it off of you. And since then, then, man, I've had this car. I mean, it was pristine, all original, um, the USDM front end. And it came with the USDM uh, original clear fog lights. Um, nice. that, that's really like rare to find on CRXs. Um, and it's just, it had the AC and everything. No way. What do you have going on in the interior? So the interior, I have a little bit of a, the SIR style. Um, I have the, the, the seats, the SIR seats. It's like the, the pleather, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I really like those seats uh, when I saw them in some other cars that were SIR. I love the, the color pattern. You don't see that that often. Yeah, it's really, a lot of people, um, you know, tell me like well, what kind of seats are those and i was like oh they're the original sir seats for a crx that's crazy and they like what really like you know they trip out on it um i have the the muin sw3 i believe um the system um have uh, the gathers it's an equalizer a cd player and a cassette player um the optional um non-smokiness ashtray um the trust uh, shift knob uh with the k tune nice. um the floor mats actually have both floor mats and back floor mats as you can see it's, it's another optional for the crx um it's probably hard to tell yeah. um and those are the little things that you think well they're floor mats whatever but they're very hard to find nowadays that you know yeah they're, they're really hard to find and and uh, if you do find them like i say they they're, they go for a good penny you know so <laughs> And then this cup holder. The uh, cup holder. That's funny because that cup holder. Um, one time I took a little tour to uh, HMO, mm -hmm. and it, it was there, <laughs> and uh, I just grabbed it. I'm like, uh, let me take this, <laughs> and it, it just it was just you know, it was perfectly for a CRX that doesn't have cup holders, yeah. so it's really well functional for the you know morning coffee and sodas and whatever to, you know. <laughs> Cool. And then the center arm, is that one uh, stock? That one is, um, I I did the top with the, one of the doors. If you can see the door uh, yeah. fabric, I did that on this. Um, it is, uh, it's not originally for the CRX, um, but it is a EF chassis. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's kind of close enough, you know. Gotcha. Um, but I mean, you got to have your armrest, you know. Yes, yes, yeah, you know? yes, yes. <laughs> So tell us about the back. Well, what's uh, what's different about the back? So the back, uh, if you if you see the tail lights, um, they're all amber corners. Mm -hmm. um, USDM has like the little reflector on the side right. that's red, um, but these are wrap around uh, yellow. Um, so I did the whole uh, uh, EDM. This is the EDM kind of back SIR style, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the EDM usually, like I was mentioned to you earlier, um, it has a fog light and the fog lights on the left side uh, of the driver's side. Mm -hmm. So this one is kind of a little rare because um, you can see that the right-hand drive one is on the right-hand side drive right. and then, you know, left hand, left hand. And um, I did the, I changed out the bumper, the back bumper is a little for the SIR. Mm, okay. So it's a little different. Um, and uh, yeah, and then the exhaust system, I did the whole HKS exhaust system. So the HKS system? HKS, yeah. Okay. yeah. engine compartment i have um a b16 um with a little bit of the 98 spec uh type r touches on it mm -hmm. like the intake manifold um the headers and the head has like just a little bit of the you know and a uh, little built uh valves and retainers and stuff for that for the type r and it, it's it's amazing how much these little things give the you know it bumps the power up mm -hmm. so it's that's pretty much you know uh what kind of am fuel rail am fuel rail um uh the i think yeah blocks um pressure regulator um fuels uh little dress ups uh, like the you know radiator cap the oil cap and then the intake what kind of radiator is this 
Um, it's a aftermarket actually. Um, okay. It's a three row, three row. I, the only reason why I went with this one is because um, it actually does its purpose. It, it keeps the car cool. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I kind of wanted a three row. And it's like nice and fat and it looks really nice. Yeah. And it's funny because I get a lot of compliments where a lot of people think it's like the skunk too. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no man, it's not it. <laughs> you know, no, like, no, 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 it's, it's not skunk. Yeah, it's not skunk. Oh, okay, cool. And the Cusco bar, from bar. Yeah, I got this Cusco front bar. Um, uh, transmission, YS1, LSD. Oh. Yeah, you can see the LSD stamp down here. It's really, I mean, you can see it. You see the battery relocation because you know how the battery sets up. Mm -hmm. So I relocated the battery down there. Little mini battery. Oh, where is that from? It, uh, what kind of battery is that from? The Altima. Oh, the Altima? oh no, Odyssey. I'm sorry. Odyssey. Okay. For what? Um, for Odyssey, right? right. Uh, Odyssey, yeah. Nice. The PC 880. Um, yeah. Man. Simple, man. Yeah, Clean and simple. Tiny little section here. <laughs> what are the future plans for this? Future plans is... Um, Pretty much, you know, keep it running um, and just uh, probably body work and respray again, mm -hmm. hopefully soon, um, to just make it look a little bit more fresh, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, Tony, so tell us, what are the future plans for this build and any shout outs? Um, for this build, um, pretty much probably respray um, body work and just maintain it on the road, you know? Um, um, Pretty much, yeah. And uh, shout outs, uh, shout outs to uh, Red Star Garage, uh, Old School Honda, um, Jason, you know, um, and Super Street Chronicles, um, Honda Tuning. Um, yeah, pretty much. All the EF heads, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few of them out there. There's a few of them out there, yeah. Still left, so yeah. keep up, keep your cars on the road, and you know, keep the old school alive. That's the best way to do it, man. Tony, thank you so much again for making some time for yeah, us, man. We truly enjoy the history, um, especially the way you came about owning this uh, vehicle. Uh, it just doesn't happen. You hear about those stories, but yeah. it doesn't happen to you. So I'm glad that uh, the car went to a, a, a great owner and uh, can't wait for any future plans that you have for it. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I think this is like the spark right here. So you like spark it what can do right now just don't show that ugly spot <laughs> that spot <laughs> <laughs> no! no 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 the car is perfect and if you always get bored you know just look at the sky <laughs> <laughs>